It's day two of the Moncton Wildcats training camp 2009-2010 and each day throughout the camp we'll be bringing you highlights with interviews and a look at the scrimmages. So we're going to talk to some of the prospects that we think have a real chance at making this team. Wendell Vi, it's uh, your second training camp. It's yours to, to make or break, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, uh, last year I came at a great camp. Uh, just cut a little bit short. Uh, this year I'm hoping to uh, you know, step it up a notch and uh, crack the lineup. Did the fact that you had a chance to, to play a couple of games with the Wildcats have any impact coming into this camp? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, I was a little confident. I'm a little bit more comfortable around the guys. Uh, like I said, it's my third training camp in the queue. Um, I'm very confident, very confident. And your willingness and wantingness to make this team? Yes, I mean, <laughs> I really want to make this team. I mean, like, ever since I was a young kid growing up watching the Wildcats, I mean, uh, it's been a dream of mine ever since I was a young boy, and uh, it'd just be great if I did. Scott Trask is from Bonavista, Newfoundland, and uh, having a good camp, two assists in the, the game today. Scott, uh, how do you feel it's going? I feel it's going pretty good, you know, I'm working hard out there, and uh, so far the camp's pretty good, and I uh, really like it. Is the intensity at the level you expected it? Uh, yeah, you know, it's fast hockey out there and high intense. What you expect in a big camp like this. And and today with with uh, a better feel than uh, opening day? Yeah, you know, I got my wit, my feet wet the first day and uh, I'm feeling pretty bit much better uh, this uh, today than yesterday. How were the nerves yesterday morning? Bit shaky, you know. You know, obviously when I had the butterflies the first camp and uh, I felt pretty good today. One of the things we talk about with rookies is grit. You feel you bring enough to the game and to the camp? Uh, that's probably one of my biggest things is grit and uh, hard work, so I feel pretty good about it. Okay, good luck. Zach O'Brien is one of three Newfoundlanders uh, trying to crack the Moncton Wildcats uh, lineup in this training camp. Zach, uh, your second time back, how does it feel? I feel a lot more comfortable this year than last year. Last year I was really nervous coming in. But uh, yesterday morning I felt a lot better where I'm experienced with the camp and everything. So it feels a lot better. Now, uh, when, when you got here and, and you get ready for this, how much drive do you need to make this team? Well, my job is to the, create offensive ability and everything. But to do that, you got to work really hard, like win the battles in the corners and everything. You got to work your hardest. Okay, and, and so what you're telling me is that the word that comes up repeatedly uh, grit is yeah. very important here. Yeah, you got to be gritty in the corners, win the battles, and create scoring chances by doing that. Uh, you got to have two men in deep, win the battles, and then uh, create scoring chances off that. And uh, what would it mean to you, finally, to make this team? It'd be a great feeling. I don't even know. Uh, probably one of the best feelings of my life. That's my goal, make this team. And uh, it'd be a pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Fabian Joseph is the associate coach with the Moncton Wildcats. You've had uh, a couple of chances now to look at the players. What are you really looking for? Is it talent or grit? I think it's a combination of both. Uh, obviously, you want to see uh, their skill set in terms of what types of players they are and types of players that we draft and invite to camp. Uh, we don't want them to change their style, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a skilled player or, or a physical player. You, you still got to be able to battle and compete, and that's what we're really looking for, the guys that want to battle for the puck and show a lot of determination around the, in the tight areas. You've got a combination of uh, first-year rookies and second-year rookies, if we can use that term, who've mm -hmm. been to a camp before. Do you see any significant difference? Uh, a little bit. Maybe the first day uh, you see a little bit of difference. Uh, you can see that the guys that had a taste of it last year, a little more comfortable out there. But, uh, I mean, th this morning's uh, scrimmage in day two was, was very good. There wasn't much difference in, in the caliber. So I think uh, when you look at the top, uh, top picks from last year and the top picks from this year, they were pretty even out there today. Probably an unfair question, but uh, anybody that really stands out? I tell you, our, our Scots did a great job uh, in the last two years, and our top picks uh, really, really are, are showing their stuff, especially today. Uh, Bucieres and Donnelly, uh, the Saulnier brothers, uh, O'Brien, Trask, all those kids are uh, great, great young players, and it's going to make our decisions very difficult. Okay. Big game uh, Friday night with the exhibition uh, uh, tilt with Cape Breton. You'll be uh, happy about that. Yeah, get to get to visit my brother a little bit uh, uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> Breaking rights on the line again. We start again, yeah. <laughs> okay, babe. thank you. Fabian Joseph is the associate coach with the Moncton Wildcats.